custom Stellron based part assembly machine. Uh, it utilizes a Stellron uh, P Link chassis. Um, it has 40 individual pallets on it. Each pallet can assemble two parts at a time. And we run 50 pallets a minute, so we're actually creating 100 parts per minute. We have two bolt feeders. So our, the first step in the assembly process is uh, actually this bolt feeder here. So we uh, pick, we use one of the VIP pick and places on the stolen chassis to load two parts onto a pallet. Uh, the pallet will then index to an inspection station to check that we've actually placed two parts. And then as we index on down to the second part placement, Again, uh, Stellron VIP pick and place, picks two parts, places two parts, and then repeat the process again where we inspect those two. Uh, when we come around to the back side of the chassis there, so this, you know, this is a carousel chassis, so that it, it makes its way around to the back side. Um, we then utilize a Fen Torin FC11 spring coiler, so the third part is a spring. Um, and what we do there, is we actually vacuum assist the springs over from the spring coiler into an escapement that singulates them out uh, for a third VIP pick in place to pick those and place those on the pallet. Um, that is our, our third step in the process. From there, um, we go through an offload good station uh, where we offload the good parts onto, uh, it's a drone or a conveyor. Final station is offload bad. And those are simply blown off with a, uh, an air knife. The air knife blows them off because we do not know, you know what parts of a penny that we've actually placed. Our primary electrical enclosure and our primary brain of this system is an Allen, is an Allen Bradley Rockwell Automation um, PLC. Uh, it can be either a standard control logics or a guard logics PLC in this case. We have a 10 inch uh, Allen Bradley HMI mounted on one of their swing arms that allows uh, the operator to swing the HMI onto either side of the machine.